Hello and welcome to Green Hill Garage. In today's video, uh, we're back for part two of the 1993 Ford F-250 engine swap. Uh, we're gonna be starting out today by pulling the bed. Uh, as you can see, we bolt, uh, pulled both foot footboards here. Um, they were just held on by tin screws, so it wasn't all that hard to get them off. Uh, what we had to do, there was no bolts holding this top corner, but there was three of them holding there and then two more holding the back ones. We got them all popped off. Uh, See, so yeah, everything's loose. We got that uh, little pipe bender out of the way. So we're gonna hitch a chain, figure out somewhere here on the back, just pick it up. And then up there on the front, I think we'll just hook up under the rail along the front there. And that ought to hold it for now. Um, engine swap plan changed. We're not going to be doing a 7.3, largely because we really can't afford a 7.3. A good 7.3 would run us way more than we could afford. So, yeah, we got this cleaned out. Um, the doors do not open from the inside. Uh, this latch actually broke. Um, so we're going to have to figure that out. But we're going to do a 351M. It bolts onto our 5-speed. And we're going to make it fuel injected. Uh, I'd like to do a 400, but... I think we'll just stick to a 351 due to I can't find a 400 crank. Uh, we're going to have to find heads and whatnot, but I picked up a 351M for 100 bucks on Craigslist. So we have our motor. Uh, going to need to do a teardown video and build video on that, so that'll be coming up. So I'll get to work. We got Trey here, got our chains, and I got my dad out here to help us. We're going to pull this bed off, and we'll set you guys to the pictures of how we did it. Ferguson. Uh, Ferguson. Okay guys, so we tried unsuccessfully to lift the bed off. What we ended up doing was we unbolted the uh, bumper off the back. I uh, got that over here and we realized they had welded it to the frame. So I just took a cutting wheel on a grinder cut that off uh, I thought about trying to reach it with a cutting torch before but we couldn't get our cutting torch to actually cut metal which is kind of a problem uh, but we picked it up at an auction for like 120 bucks so it probably just needs different nozzles I don't know much about acetylene torches I think it's just too wide of a nozzle to do any cutting um what else we do I got the fuel out but yeah it's already lift off. We got it all broken loose. So um, I think what we'll do next is grab the tractor, rechain. It's going to be interesting figuring out where we're going to rechain now that we don't have a bumper here anymore. 
But we'll figure out something and we'll get it lifted off. So we'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we got it off. Uh, I had time lapse set up. We had stupid wind come by and blow over the camera, but we got the bed off. Uh, as you can see, it's years and years worth of mud and dirt built up back here. This thing has dual tanks. Uh, being a 460 truck, this is definitely going to need it. So we're going to take the bed over, just set it down where we can reach it easily again. Um, yeah, we're going to be sanding this thing down. Well, not all the way down to bare metal, but getting kind of a scratch going so we can put good paint on it, uh, paint it up nice, and then sell it and use the money from that to build a flatbed for this truck. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get it set down, guys, and then we can wheel this thing over and pressure wash it. All right, guys, we got the truck pulled around here. Uh, we're just getting the pressure washer set up and fueled up, and we're gonna go ahead, pressure wash everything in here, um, we're going to also pressure wash the engine bay and I don't have any real concern for the wiring harness or the engine or anything like that because, let me pop this open for you, the, uh, the 460 in this, I'm pretty certain it spun a main bearing or a rod bearing. Let's see, I keep forgetting. There we go. But yeah, uh, just filthy. Uh, we're going to wash most of this out, get rid of the trash, uh, get rid of anything that we don't need, and get it as clean as possible with the pressure washer, because it's always a lot easier to work on something when it's clean. Um, don't really have any concern for this motor. Ooh. What I do notice, though, is that this engine did turn. That's new. Um, I had thought this thing was totally seized up, but it looks like it must have turned when we had it set in first gear and tried to pull it so maybe we'll show a little care for it but i'm not totally at a loss for this because i don't think we'll be saving this block um we're also pretty much past freezing season we may got like two or three more cold days so we'll just probably just pressure wash it and as you can see we already got rust and whatnot in there so it doesn't really matter we'll take it and drain out the oil when we're done but yeah i just try to get everything as clean as possible on this old rig um not gonna be saving these tires uh i've already put the caps back on and they were crushing the vent tube so there's something else we're gonna have to fix but we'll get you guys set to time lapse and we'll get to washing So we got it all cleaned up, uh, it's pressure washed and dried. Paint on the hood actually is pretty good. Um, as you can see, it's got this really bad chipping coming in here. We're gonna repaint, I think, this entire cab. And this, this is definitely gonna clean up nicely. Uh, it's mainly just surface rust. Uh, nothing is totally shot anywhere. I'm pretty certain this is a Colorado truck pretty much its whole life. Uh, there's, parts where the paint's just coming off but overall it'll be a pretty good cleanup we're gonna pull the exhaust but that'll be for another day 
Uh, I got scratching here, but mainly where the paint falls apart is right here on this right side. It all just came apart with the clear coat and everything. Uh, gonna need to get a new window gasket. Uh, but yeah, me and Trey are gonna call it a night, call it the end of the video. We're gonna pull it uh, over and park it by the shop. So thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out all our other videos. This is going to be a multi-part series. We're throwing that 351M in it. Uh, I think I said that earlier in the video, but just to make that clear, 351M with the ZF5 that's already in it. We're going to be putting the flatbed on it. So whole slew of videos. So thank you all for watching. Uh, we're also going to have the Kawasaki Mule video coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And you all have a great day.